Thailand is literally one of only a handful of countries in the entire world that were never under the administration, occupation, or colonization of a modern European power. Having a monarchy reigning nearly as long as the United States has existed as a country, although clearly in the Western world, Thailand has become synonymous with the concept of Eastern mysticism, with an obsession in America going back far beyond the partying spring breakers of yesteryear. But just who are the Thai people and the larger Thai Kadai family who, just like many other macro groups such as the Slavs, Indo-Aryans, or Iranians, have spread out over quite an extensive area spanning multiple countries as well as many communities across the world in recent times. Now, although Thailand is today a Southeast Asian country, being one of the founding members of ASEAN or the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, the Thai people do not originate in the country, instead having a history that links all the way back to China, as well as the surrounding regions. Before the migration of the Thai peoples into this land, the area was primarily inhabited by Austro-Asiatic peoples, the likes of which currently include the Khmer of Cambodia, Kin of Vietnam, and many other smaller ethno-nations scattered throughout Southeast Asia as well as Northeast India, and the Khmer Empire initially covered virtually all of modern Thailand before a mass migration from the north. As mentioned, the Thai are part of the Thai Kadai, spelled differently, or simply Kadai language family, although this label has since been replaced by the more accurate endonym of Kra Dai, although Thai Kadai is a term still used very commonly in Western circles, and most likely the homeland of this group was located somewhere around southeastern China, possibly even on the island of Taiwan, which is why many linguists believe the Austronesian, Thai, Austroasiatic, and Hmong Mien languages to be descended from the same language family, a linguistic family known as Austric, although on the contrary, many Chinese linguists universally consider the Thai Kadai languages to be a branch of the Sino-Tibetan family, although this is not widely accepted. One of the most noteworthy nations to have inhabited the current landscape of Thailand was the Mon Kingdom, although following the migration of the Thai Kadai peoples 2,000 years ago and a continuous stream of migrants from the north, the Mon people are currently relegated to a small minority population in Thailand and Burma, numbering around a million people today, although interestingly, the Mon ethnic group does live on in Thailand as the Thai royal family is of partial Mon as well as Chinese origin. Hence, the royal family of Thailand is quite representative of the country as a whole, being an amalgamation of many different nations and ethnicities fused into one melting pot of a culture, even though to many it may appear as a monolithic society. However, even before the arrival of the northeastern Eurasian racial group into this area, the indigenous inhabitants were the dark-skinned Australo-Melanese peoples similar to Papans or South Asians of today, although virtually the entire community was wiped out or assimilated following the mass migration from the north, although a small group known as the Manique and other Aslians do exist in the far reaches of the country on the border with Malaysia. Being a part of Greater India, also known as Farther India, also known as the Indosphere, Thailand has had substantial contact and influence from the Indian subcontinent, not only in genetics, but especially in culture, architecture, religion, and especially language, as although much of the lexicon of Southeast Asian languages have remained the same, the unique scripts in which they are transcribed are undeniably descendants of the Brahmic scripts used in ancient India passed on by the Phoenicians. With Thai Kadai people, migrating south and east and intermixing with the native Austroasiatic peoples for the past several hundred years, the modern Thai kingdom was established with the Ayatthuya kingdom in the 14th century. The Khmer, Mon, Aslians, and even Austronesians such as the Cham were gradually fused into one in the Ayatthuya kingdom, with the Thai proper ethnicity becoming the dominant group, although there remained many regional differences between the Thai people such as the Southern Thai on the Kra Isthmus, the Shan in the Northwest, with the Lao or Isan in the Northeast, with the latter of these languages being more or less mutually intelligible with standard Thai. The city of Bangkok, which lies in a bay within a bay, was a pivotal center of trade around the Pacific Ocean and Indian Oceans, and hence Thailand has extensive influence from both India and China, with the Dharmic religion of Theravada Buddhism spreading from India and Sri Lanka quickly taking over, even though Buddhism is often thought of as an East Asian rather than South Asian religion. 
There were, of course, Taika dynations that evolved separately from Thailand, including the Zhuang people in southeastern China, who remain to this day the absolute largest minority group in the PRC, numbering nearly 20 million, as well as the Aham Kingdom established in the 13th century AD in northeast India by Thai migrants. Although the Aham Kingdom was completely absorbed into the Indian state of Assam, which was at the time a part of the British Raj, with their language gradually replaced by the Indo-Aryan Assamese and a large portion of the community intermixing with the Assamese community and converting to Hinduism, the Aham people are still a distinct ethnicity in northeast India today, making up a small percentage of the state of Assam. The Kingdom of Thailand, which was at the time called Siam, was quite a bit larger than the nation of Thailand today, although following a war with Burma, they lost a considerable amount of territory in the south, and although Thailand was never annexed or occupied by European power, there were major territorial concessions made to the British in Malaysia and Burma, as well as to the French in Indochina, drastically reducing the territory of Siam, although many of these regions were already not ethnically Thai. Because of Bangkok's position as the trading hub of Southeast Asia, this was the largest center of settlement for Han Chinese migrants, particularly from the southern region of the country, which is why Thailand has the largest number and proportion of those with Chinese descent in the world in the overseas diaspora, and in more recent centuries, traders would travel from as far as Europe or the Middle East, and hence a modest minority of the population may have ancestry from the Portuguese, Persians, and or Pashtuns through this period of trade, although most of this latter group have completely assimilated into the ethnic Thai majority. Today, most Thais with Chinese heritage have no connection to the PRC or knowledge of a Chinese language whatsoever, with only a fraction of the community speaking Chinese, mostly Min, Cantonese, or one of the southern varieties as a first language, and for all intents and purposes are seen simply as fellow Thai citizens with distant foreign heritage. This is due mainly to mass efforts of assimilation brought about in the 20th century by pro-Thai nationalist policies, and as many know, during the Japanese occupation of Southeast Asia, ethnic Chinese civilians in particular were often highly discriminated against by the Japanese, although following the war, the Chinese in Thailand were spared some of the harsher race riots and discriminatory pogroms directed towards other Chinese communities in Southeast Asia, such as in Vietnam, Cambodia, or Indonesia. Technically, Thailand was the only Southeast Asian country not occupied by Japan during World War II, but they were still effectively a puppet regime as part of Japan's greater East Asia co-prosperity sphere, as they were very briefly invaded and toppled by the Empire of Japan in 1939, with a pro-Japanese government installed shortly thereafter. During World War II, the Kingdom of Siam, now officially known as Thailand, would go on to invade and annex several parts of the neighboring countries, such as the Shan region of Burma and western Laos, which had previously been a part of Siam in generations past, and most of which, excluding northern Malaysia, had a strong Thai ethnic majority, culturally and linguistically linked to the country. This expansion, however, would prove short-lived, and the boundaries would return to their pre-war status, with Thailand mostly skirting past many of the violent revolutions seen in the rest of Asia, being a strong American ally during the Cold War, although there were a series of destabilizing coups that rocked the country in the 20th and even up to the 21st century. However, Thailand's economy and levels of development have remained strong, boasting an exceptionally high standard of living for Southeast Asia, having a life expectancy and economy approximately equal to that of Serbia or Romania, eventually becoming the tourist capital of the Far East, especially for those interested in the philosophies of Buddhism and meditation. In fact, Thailand is today one of the more religious or at least spiritual countries in the entire world, with a near universal proportion claiming religion to be a very important aspect of their everyday lives, and hence Thailand has arguably become the de facto center of Buddhist culture, philosophy, and history, at least the Theravada denomination. In addition, there is a small community of Christians in the country, mostly from hill tribe groups such as the Karen in the far northwest, and quite a large Muslim minority in the southern region and in Bangkok of both Malay descent as well as ethnic Thai converts, with the states of Narathawat, Patani, and Yala in the far south having a Malay majority, which has led to quite a few interest groups to pop up demanding independence or integration with Malaysia.
It is quite difficult to catalog the ethnic and racial makeup of the country of Thailand today as the majority of minority groups have long since become a part of the larger Thai nation due to pressures to assimilate in the 20th century, although from various estimates it can be gathered that the largest minority in the country is still those of Han Chinese ancestry, making up nearly 14% when including the assimilated Thai-speaking Chinese, although it's estimated that those with at least one Chinese ancestor in the recent past is is many times greater than this. And this is followed by Malays, the Khmer, mostly around the border of Cambodia, the Tibeto-Burman hill tribes, and the Hmong. Thailand also has one of the largest expatriate population of Westerners in the Far East, with nearly half a million foreigners of European extraction, mostly from the UK, America, Australia, Germany, or even Russia since the fall of the USSR, as well as many wealthy retirees from Japan, Korea, and Taiwan. Currently, outside of the roughly 90 to 100 million people of Thai Kadai, meaning Thai, Lao, Zhuang, descent in mainland Asia, there is a large diaspora of roughly 2 million people of Thai descent outside of the region, with particularly large communities, of course, in the United States, Australia, and Singapore, and in much of the Western world, Thai peoples make up the back bone of the Buddhist community. And due to high rates of intermarriage in Korea, Japan, and the Anglosphere for these migrants, many times more people than this have sought after Thailand as the fascinating and irreplaceable jewel in the Far East. So go ahead and let me know your thoughts on the nation of Thailand and the Greater Thai Kadai Macro Group. And for today's poll, please let me know which Thai Kadai group is of the most interest to you. And as always, this has been Mason. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time.